Diodes are semiconductors that act as one-way gates for current flow. And there's a special diode test range right here on the meter. The readings we should get for a diode are some reading in one direction and OL in the other. Normally, you will read between 0.5 and 0.9 in one direction and OL when the leads are reversed. Occasionally, you may see some very large diodes like this one that will read slightly below 0.5. As long as we get an OL reading when the leads are reversed, the diode is good. Bad diodes look the same as good diodes. The only way to tell is with your meter. This one reads OL in one direction and OL when the leads are reversed. So this diode is open. But the most common diode failure that you'll see is a shorted diode like this. Transistors are also tested with the meter set to the diode test range. This is the base of the transistor, this is the emitter, and the case is the collector of the TO3 package. We'll start our test by putting the red meter lead on the base of the transistor. With the red lead on the base and the black lead on the emitter, we'll read a junction drop of between 0.5 and 0.9. Leaving the red lead on the base and touching the collector, we should see the same reading. Then we'll reverse the leads and place the black lead on the base. Again, we'll check from base to emitter. This time we should read OL. When we move the red lead to the collector, we should also read OL. Well, many people feel that this is a complete transistor test, but it's not. There's one very important test that you have to make before proclaiming that transistor to be good. Emitter to collector should read OL, and it should read OL in both directions, no matter which way you put your meter leads. This is a bad transistor with a typical failure. Base to emitter reads junction drop, base to collector as well. When we reverse the leads and put the black lead on the base, base to emitter, OL, and base to collector, OL. So far, so good. But when we make that final test from collector to emitter, look, the transistor is shorted and it's shorted in both directions. 